Mermaid Chez Monique. How are you today? We're, what, a week or two, or depending on where you live, a couple months into this coronavirus madness? How are you doing? I know I asked you this before, but I'm going to keep checking in. Remember, if you're home and you're self-isolating or social isolating, you can talk back. Nobody's going to hear you. And if you don't want to weird out your cat, your kids, your housemates, you can always give me a heart, a thumbs up, a thumbs down, a sad face, an angry face, because times are weird. So how are you feeling? What I want to talk to you about today is rest. I think a lot of folks who are suddenly out of work or suddenly out of school are afraid to rest. And I'm here to tell you that it is okay to rest. Because I'm here to talk about rest, I'm wearing my cozy, comfy sweatshirt, I've got my messy bun, and I'm just relaxed. And it's okay to relax. Because most of us are in this kind of constant grind, constant hustle culture. And that culture teaches us that our only value is our like commercial dollars and cents output. But that's not true. Your ability to make money is not the definition of you. You are a delightful, wonderful, and magical creature. And in order to be your delightful, wonderful, and magical self, you need a break. When it became apparent that a lot of us were going to be quarantined or sheltering in place for an extended period of time, the internet, and I know my text messages, filled up with all sorts of people talking about, you know, how are you going to be productive during this time? Take this online class, do this thing, hustle this business, grind that thing. And if you want to do that, that's fine. But I know a lot of people who were working a couple of jobs before this happened. I know people who are working several jobs. I know people who are still working their jobs online, or maybe you're working your job online and also trying to take care of your children and also realizing that maybe, you know, you and your housemates don't get along quite as well when you're all stuck in the same house together. That's intense. Contemplating what is going on with our society right now is intense. Times are scary. And maybe you're just kind of like emotionally going through some things. That's okay. I am here today to tell you that rest is actually productive. Uh, we're afraid to sleep. We glorify how many hours a day we work. And that's not the sum of who you are. Your body literally needs rest to rebuild and rejuvenate. Whatever's going on, there is a very serious disease flying around the world and you want to be at your strongest. And I don't necessarily mean your CrossFit marathon strongest, but I mean your healthiest, which involves rest so your cells can rejuvenate and your immune system can do all of the things it's designed to do. Sleep is a part of the process. Rest also allows your brain to be more creative and it's just important. So I recognize that for a lot of people doing things makes them feel more in control. And if that's what you need for your mental health, by all means do it. But if you think that you owe somebody or yourself an output of 40 hours a week of what you accomplished while you were quarantined, you don't. It is okay to take a break. If you're an adult and you're watching this, do you remember working really hard all through the school year and then spending a couple months resting, hanging out and having fun? You're allowed to do that. I'm not saying just be a lazy vegetable because for most people that's not healthy either. But what I'm saying is you do not have to use this time to, you know, write a sonnet or, you know, come up with some super involved business plan. It really is okay to take a break. And it is quite possible that allowing yourself downtime, allowing yourself the opportunity to rest, will give you that creative boost to create the things that you really want to. So, take it from me. I'm a mermaid. Allow yourself some time to rejuvenate and restore.
restore and relax while you've got this sudden time on your hands. Your value is so much more than your monetary dollar sign output. Also, to that end, if you're wanting to do some crafting or dig into one of your hobbies, you're allowed to do that for fun. You don't have to say, this is the time I'm going to turn my cross-stitching into an Etsy shop. You can just cross-stitch because you want to. You can cross-stitch it and mail it to friends that you're socially isolated from. You're allowed to just enjoy life. And this is a really hard and challenging time. So please, find enjoyment in some of the things you're doing and just relish in it. I do also want to say that if you're struggling with this time, I highly recommend that you create a schedule for yourself. Um, not a schedule so that you create a certain amount of output, but a schedule so that your body can just kind of fall into a routine. Again, we need sleep, we need rest, we do need physical activity. So just kind of putting some of these things on the schedule so that your Monday doesn't turn into your Thursday because all the days look the same and none of them look like anything may be helpful for your mental health and well-being. I want you to take some time and find some rest, some pleasure in this situation. While we're here, let's take some breaths, look at the reflections of the light on the water behind me, and let's take some deep breaths all the way in. Hold. 